Hello, Timothy. Brown eyed girl, it's definitely a test. You are uh, experiencing the Job effect. Hello, Chili, Philly. Hello, Duchess, Sassy, Paul. Tammy's awake. Potus Storm, Coyote Boy, Otoshi. Good to see you. Hello, Wan, Bar, Anakin, Anakon. Mm. Cheers to a little uh, black chai tea. Hello, Victoria. David Osment. Good to see you. Hello, Bama fan. <laughs> yeah. uh, unfortunately, not a uh, stellar, not a bad shirt. Good shirt. One of the best shirts ever. A great shirt, um, but not the golden egg shirt yet. It has been very quiet so far. Mr. Brightside, Project Veritas is spilling beans. Spilling beans on what specifically? We did have a lot of beans spilled today from um on twitter drops again very interesting ones enough that uh people hopefully will be waking up i can't imagine that the mainstream press won't go after this one because it would allow them to move some of the attention of the twitter drops off of them and onto the pharmaceutical companies hello adi may hello xrp haas Hello, Wall, you, Frank, Jim. Good to see you, Lance. A lot. Let's see. Hi from Australia. 33 degrees Celsius. Oh, warm day. Uh, yeah, let me get busy. We need that green button pushed. T Rex <laughs> from Pismo Beach, California. Johnny Bravo, always a pleasure. Salty Desert Rat. Hey, I appreciate that one here. I'll even. You're like, whoa. Um, hello, Red Canary. Um, I have not been able to find any proof of that on Treasury canceling debt yet. Hello, Cyber Goat. I am ready for that new world as well. Bob, I'm going to need a med flight after the revaluation. I'm looking at you for your contact. All right. Uh, I may know just the person for you. Hello, K. Cress. Oh, man, I can't wait. There must be, I must be missing a big piece of news because I've been so covered up with work. Mechanicsburg, did I just see Mechanicsburg check in? What is up in the PA? Hello, Global Quantum L. Hello, Lil Tink Tinky. Mike G. Beta Jamie. You know, I do miss, I do miss the uh, the uh, Indians there. Now, I've not heard of Greta being arrested. Hello, Carl Reeves. Is the Philippines currency will be in the first basket roll? Yes, I am told it is in the first basket, but I do not know what to expect on value. Spencer scraped ice off my windshield here in Florida yesterday morning. Speaking of which, you guys... We have another polar vortex coming, but first I need to officially deliver. Wait, I need to bounce here. I need to hide that. I need to bounce back to here, put up news, and officially deliver the nothing burger. I mean, guys, um, we've got plenty of world news, plenty of happenings, uh, lots of disclosure happening, but we have little. I'm talking like I shouldn't even say a little. We have no RV news to speak of it. We do have some uh, meetings occurring. Uh, Kind of routine, ones that did not have meetings yesterday. I'm hoping that that will mean something to us. Unfortunately, they don't crank up until about the time we call it a night on the eastern side of the U.S. It has been exceptionally quiet today. Now, don't get me wrong. The disinformation agents have been very, very strong at it, talking about how, oh, nope, it is gone at four. Uh, it's going, it's going, it's going. Uh, those are the normal same people, and I swear they feed half of the people that are on the boards. Uh, they've been very busy, but anything actionable and solid has been uh, pretty uh, pretty quiet this afternoon, which is probably a good thing. Most of them, I'm coming up uh, blank, going straight to voicemail is what I should say. Uh, they're going straight to voicemail or no response, uh, not even opened on the emails and messages right now. So. My guess is they are um, in a blackout right now as far as um, communications go, which is probably a very good sign. At least that's that's what I'm praying is going on. 
Um, <clears throat> yeah, lots of lots of calls though about how um, some things have already had things we would already know if it had happened. Uh, we wouldn't we wouldn't have to hear it from them. We wouldn't have to hear it from some board. You would have heard it all over the news. You would have already had your notices. So where do I go from there? Nothing negative, guys. Nothing negative at all. Um, it was day to day Kit Kat. I have not seen the article. I don't know what to tell you. I will do a deep dive on it the moment I can find it or it lands in my inbox. Oh man, I'm trying. I'm trying to skip it. Let's make up for it. Let's talk keto. A recent survey reveals that if your New Year's resolution revolve around weight loss, half of all Americans are with you. One of the easiest ways I recommend jump starting your New Year's resolution is with this amazing keto powder. The substance helps you tap into many of the weight management benefits of being in ketosis, even without the need for extreme carb restriction or having to go through the infamous keto flu. I'm impressed because in just a week of taking this, I've noticed a significant difference in appetite and cravings. I want you to try it as well and experience the amazing effects it's had on me. Get a bag today, 51% off, plus receive several free bonuses before the new year sale ends by going to ketowithmarkz.com. That is ketowithmarkz.com, or simply click the link in the description box down below and get ready to look your best this new year. Guys, like I mentioned, I, I, I gave, I was down to part of a bag, and I was like, all right, because uh, my buddy Aubrey's trying to lose weight. I was like, here, try this. It's really worked for me. I lost seven pounds, changed nothing else. And I'm not even religious in its use like I should be. He's been on it a week and already lost five pounds. Hadn't changed anything else. Replaced his breakfast with uh, putting a scoop in his coffee. Huge difference. So now I got to order more. Now I'm missing it. Beach bum hillbilly girl. Mark, this morning was mentioned that some Congress members have currency. I agree with some of the others here that they shouldn't be allowed to exchange. Do you think they will be allowed to? One, um, contrary to common belief, there isn't some fairness police out there limiting and not limiting. Uh, will some of them not be able to exchange? Absolutely. Some will be limited. There is no, no doubt about it, in my opinion. Uh, many of them have known and they have insider information on it, and I do not believe that they will be allowed to. Uh, so <clears throat> there are still some good guys there. They're just very rare and few in between, far and few in between, or far and many in between, however that works, guys. Uh, so don't be too concerned. It's not like you're going to see Chuck Schumer trading in or Nancy Pelosi trading in a bunch or uh, Mitch McConnell trading in a bunch. Not going to happen. <laughs> nano one nano it's always good to see you in here uh, greetings from anar wait anarchist mountain bc canada for prime minister of canada i do love my canadian people i love the canadian landscape i do not like winters mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Bearded Patriot, because of what we're looking at, Goldilocks is exceptionally well, well-versed in and, and great at deep dives on articles. Um, and she might be right. That is just not what I am getting from some of my best connected folks in banking and government right now. They, they disagree with that figure. Um, not saying couldn't be right. There is... All of us have, well, I shouldn't say all of us because you guys hear a lot of parroted information, uh, but uh, many of us have very different sets of contacts. And I think that is good because I think you should listen to both and make your own decision as to what you think on timing. Yeah, Walter, always thank you. Before I forget it, Jeffrey, God bless you. Thank you. When traveling abroad, do you have to claim or should, let's see, my bank doesn't do, oh, multi-currency accounts. When traveling abroad, do you have to claim or should you claim? I'm not certain what you mean by that part. Uh, many of your banks are suddenly going to be doing multi-currency accounts, and I am told you will be offered a multi-currency account at Redemption. Thank you, Walter. K. Bent, big, big thank yous. Um, but Jeffrey, if you want, put your name in the subject line and see if you can word that in a different way and shoot me an email, and I will do my best to tackle it for you.
<laughs> up your grass, wish I had a moose head. Not certain about the player from Canada, but uh, a moose head doesn't say. Boy, it's been a long time since I had a moose head or a Molson Golden. Don't even remember about them. Uh, Mark, I remember Nancy Pelosi going one night to Reno and coming back with an SKR. <laughs> I, I wonder where that was posted. <laughs> Bill, it's good to see you in here. Cesar, that is great. My next door neighbor just had her student loan canceled. Uh, you know, I certainly, I certainly, how do I put this one on that one? How, how best to uh, tackle that one? Yes, most students signed up for it and really don't add much to our society in general. Mine never existed. They were just created out of thin air. So saying they owe them is tough. Uh, at the same time, we have to somehow balance the extreme kick in the teeth that the blue collar took. Um, and just start willy nilly forgiving those many blue collar folks wanted to go to college, could not come up with the doctor and justify the uh, All right. Uh, browning us out, I would argue, and you could argue, that that is extremely unfair to the blue-collar working class, and I would think you are certainly correct. So I hope that the folks in charge of this have thought that through so that there is some type of, some type of fairness. I know life, guys, life doesn't have to be fair. That is one of the first things you should tell your children, yourself, everything else. There is not some predestined thing where it says life is fair. Um, the only fair thing you can count on is uh, salvation. If you ask for it and mean it, you will receive it. And that's the only salvation. Uh, keep in mind that a rich person usually has a tougher time because they have their idols as opposed to um, Frozen morality. Morality. Is morality objective or subjective? Oh, there's a deep one. Mm. Barbecue honcho. It's not fair, but it is justice. Uh, boy, I tell you, uh, I've been communicating with Dr. Scott. Uh, matter of fact, today he's got some fun stuff for us on Friday. He's got some fun stuff that he is not going to release until Friday. So, uh, Let's hope he doesn't get the opportunity because the RV went and he can't talk to us. But I still, I'm very excited about hearing what uh, Dr. Scott has to say. Uh, John, see, here's a kick in the teeth to John. I paid my kids the student loans in full, worked my axe off to do it. Maybe they can repay me. Exactly. I'm like, you know, where where is that give me back for all those that buckled down, did without, and did the right thing? And I would like, I would like it to be more than just an attaboy. My daughter got a letter for her student loan today, but I don't feel so bad. She couldn't get her license because they closed the only two schools she could get her degree because of COVID. Ouch. Yeah. News time. We already did the news. Hat and banner time. We already did it. For those that joined late, you missed it. We did the news. Back up and watch it. Yeah, NSA, they're jamming me again. Uh but you don't have to back up, Judy. Unfortunately, it was an absolute nothing burger on the RV front. Uh, we talked about some of what the banking side is hearing, uh, some appointments this evening, but it has been extremely dry. Mostly, I am getting going straight to either voicemail or unopened messages this afternoon on the RV front for my contacts. Um, I'm hopeful that that means something positive and not just a coincidence that so many are in the middle of something, have something going on, or in a parking garage where they're not getting a signal. But it has been an absolute nothing burger on the news side for the RV. Uh, I have heard plenty of sources saying uh, all morning today, it's going this afternoon, four o'clock, you can count on it, it's 100%, it's in stone. And of course, I knew better than that because of the source it was coming from. I hope more people vet their sources a little more uh, aggressively after today. 
I don't know Mark Passio. Who is Mark Passio? Mm. Steve Johnston, you could absolutely make the same argument on mortgages, those that were responsible and those that were irresponsible. But I think we're going to have to take our own blessings and run with them. I saw a Kirkow politician meeting with Pelosi in D.C., uh, but she looked too young, so probably an actress with a mask. <laughs> Don Teasy, I hope you are correct, and the reason they were grounded is because they were testing the new quantum financial system. Uh, I'm not certain I buy it, but... All right, kitty cat seven, go feed those chickens. Let's see, Mark, my husband and I both have NARS. Could we get separate bank accounts afterwards or put them into separate banks? Yeah, you can absolutely split it afterwards. Knock yourself out. That will be up to you all. Panama, if you change your name, Panama 2000. Uh, you go right ahead, Panama. Hey, can we get one of those private islands? I'll split one. You stay on one half, I'll stay on the other. Uh, Craig, one, thank you for silent for, for signing in. Mark, family, and I just want to let you everyone know that I have the WISE app, and they allow you to have multiple currencies on account with them, and you can send them to anywhere in the world. Craig, so many folks that take the time to actually use it, use it effectively for buying currency, they're going to tell you the same wonderful things about it. I am not affiliated in all. It takes five seconds to send money anywhere in the world with the Wise app. I don't work for Wise. I don't get any money from Wise. I just have the app and use it. See, Craig, that's what's important to me is you guys giving that just hard, straight up uh, take on what your experiences is. I think all the Intel providers do the best they can. They all get information and shared. Appreciate all the work. No, I, I absolutely agree with you, DNA. And they get a whole lot of hate. They get some love, but they get a whole lot of hate. So every one of the Intel people out there, keep grinding, keep digging. Um, do your best to vet it. I have to remind myself of that because sometimes when I'm excited, I hear that piece that I want to be accurate. I come right out and bam, and I share it, and I probably should uh, take more time myself on occasion. I have gotten better at it. I am certain I still have more room to improve. Whoa, whoa. did somebody say Kukla was in? I wasn't expecting Kukla. If you did make it tonight, it is good to see. I hope all is well. Hud Gumby. Dow down 391 at this point it's, is the market relevant to the RV yes and no it's like the ghost of the real economy killed by the puppet of the White House back 121 <laughs> I see another fun one it is so manipulated because of Aladdin the AI that has been running it for such a large portion of the market with Blackstone the only relevance it has is when it completely breaks and it will break. It is having a more and more difficult time, an increasingly difficult time adjusting to the real life curves. I suggest everybody that wants a deep dive down the conspiracy rabbit hole to uh, look up, go to YouTube, research. Um, oh, guys, now I got to try to remember the uh, the Operation Looking Glass. Can't believe I was brain farting on that one. Land shark, totally. All right, guys. Who's joining me for the Barrett Jackson and the it was it in the Miko auctions? Mecham auction. Mecham auction. I'm not gonna go on a rant if you don't trust my information, guys. I hope you research. I would not take anybody as gospel. Is it only the U.S. dollar that expected to collapse or many? Oh, no, God, no. C. Taylor, many others will collapse as well. Uh, and that is why they desperately need to push this trigger, because what you're going to get is the two major currencies that will collapse because of the weight and the way they have operated are going to be the U.S. dollar and the Europe, the euro. Uh, they will absolutely implode. That's why they need to do this first before they implode. Otherwise, they got to do it after the fact, and it's going to be ugly.
Oh, good. <laughs> Biz, I hear you. Um, I don't even know where to start on some of these. All right, guys, I need to probably just focus, get the news done, and then get back to work for a little bit this evening and then get some sleep. I was so, so hopeful for good news last night. I did not sleep as long as I should have. Stayed up entirely too, too late working in hopes of getting that news before bed. And then went to sleep and still didn't get it. Uh, let's see. I missed the first part, Jim. Don't know if I can even go back for it. Uh, government's blocking a draft law in Scotland that would make it easier for people to legally change their gender on government documents, citing concerns that the bill would undermine legislation protecting women. Oh, absolutely was. According to the New York Times, Scotland's gender recognition reform bill would have removed requirements that transgender identified people need evidence of a diagnosis of gender dysphoria, allowing people to legally change their gender by declaring that they've lived as that sex for three months. Think about that stupidity. Now think about this, because what they're opening it up to is this. Um, boy, sometimes there's not a good way to have sensitive conversations, is there? Sometimes you just got to put it out there and then deal with the backlash. There are many loans out there for different or um, economic incentives uh, in this great equity world we live in. In other words, it is easier to get a loan and this I know I'm going to man, I'm going to catch it. There are loans specifically earmarked for women. They're uh, specifically for Hispanics, specifically for African-Americans, specifically for um, trans people. There are all of these things. So if we can just willy nilly on a piece of paper say, I identify as this, then that is going to collapse the reason they do it. Similar to youth sports where uh, you're just going to change your gender because you couldn't compete where you were supposed to and pretend. It, it doesn't make any sense. It's I cannot wait for, I would love to be able to travel forward in time, 2,000 years, and see what the archaeologists have to say. All right, get to it. Let's rip through it. U.S. national gas prices as model U.S. natural gas prices rise as models suggest polar vortex to unload on the U.S. Guys, later this month, towards the end of the month, they are expecting another polar vortex, uh, perhaps rougher than the one that we experienced over uh, Christmas uh, in the U.S. to hit. They were talking about record breaking figures throughout much of the U.S. And it's already been a strangely cold one. It's been very mild in some of the areas that are hit. Um, it'll hit for a little bit, then leave and get mild, which has kept natural gas prices suppressed as opposed to what we were afraid they were going to get to this year. Uh, this is a warning that that weather is coming to be prepared. Uh, perhaps if, if you can afford to do it, Top off your gas now why it's cheaper. Top off your heating oil. Top off especially those that heat with uh, propane or compressed natural gas. Now might be the time while it is the lowest it's been in about two years. Or, I mean, just crazy how it has dropped because it has been a relatively mild winter. And be prepared for that cold spell. That is more why I'm sharing it than anything is for that. <clears throat> yeah, caucus fit. I want to talk about that because that is something that irritates me. No loans for handicapped. Also, on your taxing structure, no benefit unless you don't work. They don't want you to work. Now, a handicapped person has additional costs. And if we're going to find fairness, I mean, they have additional costs. I mean, they, you know, we need equipment. We may need help in the home. We may need help getting to work. Our vehicles cost more. Everything is more expensive, but the only way you get a bonus is if you refuse to work and you don't make money. If you want to work and keep your pride as a handicapped person, you're screwed in this country. I don't know if other countries do it the same way, but it really is some serious caca in my book. Uh, for instance, because of that incre increased cost, uh, and if they are on disability, I mean, they lose it if they make a certain amount of money. They lose the health benefits. They should be allowed to make a certain amount more because their lifestyle 
not because they're out chasing hookers and hoes and staying out late at the bar buying Johnny Walker uh, for the painted lady down the street or the painted dude that looks like the lady. Watch for that Adam's apple. Uh, they have legitimate costs, but our government would rather them not work at all, not make any effort to improve their life, and then punitively punish them for it. It is the dumbest thing on the planet. You want to talk about it? that? That drives me nuts. Drives me nuts. Darlene, it is good to see you. All right, I'm off this one. Uh, Nashville is not disabled friendly. No, much of Puerto Rico isn't either. Anything that is older before American with Disabilities Act is not handicap friendly. All right, let's keep running. We got a lot of news I haven't touched on, and I've already gone long. Dark Side of Davos revealed as global elite bookings for sex workers soar. I want you to think about this one. These are the people that, for some reason, much of humanity trusts to run our world, to do the right thing, to be there for us. And they're busy lining up hookers and wild parties at the resorts. Kudos to uh, Zero Hedge for even running that story. I am tickled they did. Um, I love this one. Let's just see. Uh, one escort named Liana told the German newspaper Bild that she dresses in business attire to blend into the crowd of elites. While at the summit, she said her client is an American who attends the meeting. She charges 700 euros per hour and 2,300 euros for the whole night. She sheds light on the dark side of Davos. They've had, they have papers and news stations there doing whole stories on the sex workers that are servicing these world leaders at Davos. These are just some sick bastards. I mean, that's just the way I'm going to look at that one. There's my take. Um, yeah, all right. I'm done on that one. German defense minister resigns as criticism over Ukraine mounts. Is that a key? Uh, I think it is because much of the West has been saying that Germany's not doing enough and they've been pressuring and pressuring and pressuring them. So um, she is stepping away. I don't think she was very good at it, but I do think it is also indicative of the amount of dissenting voices we are now hearing on the whole support of the Ukrainian-Russian war uh, as people around the world. And this is not just an American thing. I know most of the audience is American, but guys sound off in Canada, sound off in London, sound off in Indonesia, the Philippines, uh, Colombia, Brazil, wherever you're at, sound off. Are things really screwed up in your country right now as well? Is the dichotomy, the difference between the haves and the have-nots at the highest level that you can remember in your lifetime? Um, especially older folks, I want you to sound off as well. The poor are being, uh, uh, a war is raging and the, ca and the cannon fodder is the poor and the working class. It's happening every where, and we're just getting tired. We're tired of seeing our nations blow money on green this, green that, while we are suffering and starving. And then you look at countries like China, India, et cetera. You know, one in three Indian kids goes to bed hungry. They're mal they suffer from a preventable uh, issue, and it's called malnutrition. Africa is similar. China, surprisingly uh, similar as well, with many millions not having enough. They are literally mal nourished because they don't have enough and we expect them to play this game uh, we expect them to have to make a decision to whether to spend you know uh, 40,000 for a car or 60,000 so it can be electric guys they're not thinking about that they're thinking about how in the hell they can eat they are not worried about your environment if we want to do something for the environment we need to uh, work on better technology because we need to prevent we need to provide them with clean clean cheap i mean cheap it's got to be cheaper and cleaner than what we have now before we're going to make any difference and the u.s only produces two percent of the carbon dioxide two percent of the pollution in the world but man do they love beating on us more than any other country about it and it's just it's unsustainable these people are trying to live and survive you're not going to talk to them you're not going to convince them that their car needs a better inspection sticker or they need to uh, put a new catalytic converter on it. My God, man, they're just trying to eat. They're trying to get enough so they don't have to go to bed hungry. Uh, and then I got to listen to this and, and we sit here and talk about it and I have to listen to some 
woke, spoiled millennial. It doesn't have to be millennial. I mean, there's plenty of woke people from all generations. They are so asleep at the wheel. They don't understand Main Street around the world. They've not spent the time looking at those starving, struggling people. You're not going to convince them that they need to not get richer, that they need to not, I mean, that the working class should not strive for more because it's going to cause more pollution. That's the dumbest crap ever. All right, I'm, I'm full of tirades today. Uh, the World Economic Forum has invented a new word to describe the extreme chaos that's gripping our planet. Uh, this one's just a neat little breakdown on the poly crisis word. Uh, and I did get a kick out of that one. So I just, I included it there because I like the word and I like them doing a, a deep dive on it. Uh, Mark Musk says, Mark says, Musk says, Zero Hedge did nothing warranting suspension after Twitter files expose big pharma bullying. All right, this one is a really good one. A great, 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 great Twitter drop today. What did we learn today? It wasn't only governments that were manipulating mainstream media. Pharmaceutical companies. Pfizer was directly linked with Twitter and pushing them. Now, there's not much in the way of internal documents from Twitter showing that they did ban or remove these folks. But there is a tremendous amount of communication back and forth with Pfizer and companies leaning on them to remove certain accounts uh, and any account that questioned what was going on, even in a mild way that may cause some kind of hesitancy to take it. Oh, and one of the most important things that they wanted removed was anytime somebody mentioned that Pfizer should greatly drop the price for developing countries that needed it to move past the uh, pandemic stage. Of course, that's assuming that it worked and it was safe and effective and nobody had a problem with it. Uh, but they were reaching out directly. The pharmaceutical companies were right there in bed with government. They didn't even go through the government. They didn't even need to go through the government. The corporation, the corporocracy has gotten so big and so powerful that they didn't have to veil their threats. They didn't have to call up Lindsey Graham or Nancy Pelosi and say, hey, you know, remember that uh, donation? And remember those uh, $20, $30 million to that pack? I'm going to need you to do me a favor. I'm going to need you to get over on the horn there. I'm going to need you to call up, you know, all these uh, fellows. I'm going to need you to call up Bezos, tell him he can't carry any more of those pillows. I'm going to need you to. Uh, they didn't even go there. They reached out directly and said, cut it. That is how powerful our corpocracy has become. That should really scare many. That The Twitter drop today, um, while many of the past have been very alarming to me, this one was even more alarming. This is the rise of the corporate state where corporations will become bigger than governments, that they will have revenues and incomes bigger than entire nations. This is a scary, scary view of our future if we do not take it back and take it back now. Uh, that's my take from the Twitter drops today. George Soros tied to at least 54 influential media figures through groups funded by liberal billionaire, according to a study. Journalists, CNN, NBC, CBS, Bloomberg, NPR, Washington Post, among industry leaders tied to Soros' cash. So, of course, they're going to say anything that he wants them to say. Uh, the best video on climate change that you will ever see, and they are not kidding. This one's great. Part of my tirade today came from watching this earlier. I'm going to leave it there. It will be in links. At least 80 Illinois County sheriffs will refuse to enforce state's new gun laws. Uh, we talked about that earlier in the week or maybe end of last week and it was just fantastic um gwen i don't know if they show the wheel of fortune down here i never looked for it i'm not a daytime television person even if i had time for it i want to take time out for it probably should i could use a little more relaxation in my life all right this one though this is sheriffs standing up and doing the right thing uh, at least 80 of the sheriffs said they will not enforce uh, the new uh, ban on semi-automatics. They do not believe it is legal. They do not believe it is constitutional. They do more so that they do not believe it is morally and ethically right to go after folks for this. They believe it is a constitutional right, a God-given right to be able to protect yourself, not only from criminals or those wild runaway deer, that might come, you know, you got to be careful, those crazy white-tailed deers, those bucks might charge through the middle of uh, uh, Chicago on a rampage, killing people. No, they also believe that you need to protect yourself from tyranny. The Second Amendment was not written 
in case the deer rise up or the beavers get tired of having their um, glands milked. It was written to protect us from a tyrannical government. Uh, and that is solely the reason. And these sheriffs are standing up because they understand this. That, that to me, everybody loves beating on certain states. And then you see how much common sense there actually does exist, minus some of the politicians. Tickled to read this article today, guys. Just tickled to read that article today. A couple days old, but uh, it, it very much excited me. For the second time since 1900, Michigan had more deaths than births. This is playing out all over the civilized world. Um, positive news, guys. Houses are going to get cheaper because there's going to be a lot of empty ones. And negatives, not as much future for our children unless we reimagine and re-engineer our world. So uh, I just wanted to include that one after we talked about China this morning. Uh, that story is getting more press um, now from uh, other media sources on the Chinese. This one, somebody shared it after the dated back in December 26th of this past year. Thank you for sharing it because it does. It reinforces where we're at. Uh, surprisingly enough, Elon Musk told us that this was coming, that based on their modeling, the world population was going to shrink, which would cause all kinds of problems maintaining our older people. So uh, we're going to need to make our own plans. And this is just a bonus one I put in here as we go into, even if we get an RV, guys, I want you guys to very much consider this. Mom saves $1,500 a year by eating at home, grown food. Doesn't need to buy fresh produce for half the year. And then, of course, um, can also can, freeze, etc. The Victory Garden. I think the Victory Garden is key. Even if we get our reset and we have great money, I think it, Consider paying somebody to garden for you and their family to produce more than they need. Because uh, we do. We need to take that back. We need to take a page from our grandparents, the folks that survived the Great Depression. They grew, you know, even in town, they would be growing stuff. On their patio gardens, they'd be growing stuff. They had the nice, they had the tiller and would till a garden and did so many of their fresh stuff. Important. Important. All right. That's it. Oh, I love that part of my plan. Bake. Back to Earth Basics. Amen. Uh, good for that woman growing her own food. Otashi. Yeah, I'm just tickled. I love that one. It was a feel-good one. They do that in Epic Times. I like that they do it. Harold Hall. Hello in Scotland. Yeah, take away the big cities. Oregon, Illinois. Very conservative, Richard. Take away the big cities. And California is one of the most conservative states you have out there as well. I did notice that uh, Governor Whitmer is uh, going to be at Davos. Doesn't that tell you enough? I mean, to me, that should tell you all you need to know. Now, I totally understand why some reporters and journalists go. But as a world leader, unless you are there beating the drums of positive change, uh, to me, you are just coming away with a layer and film of slime all over you that is going to be difficult to get rid of. Uh, Cat and Kitty, been growing our veggie garden for 40 years. Can it every fall? Hubby hunts and fishes. Healthy, excellent food. Cat, and that is awesome. And a nice kitten. Uh, Rhonda, it's just the time of year. Rhonda just said, I miss the personal garden pics you used to show. A get, if you're watching, that is something that we need to, uh, something we need to think about for for this coming spring as we do seed giveaways. I'm looking forward to being able to give away a fortune in seeds because it won't matter. We will have had our RV, but I still want folks to consider gardening. Uh, Ghost, now a lot of folks are in this condition. So if you are younger and you can grow more than you need, please adopt a senior. Adopt a senior. Many of those seniors used to have their own gardens, especially if you know one um, or some that used to garden, but they have gotten to the point where they can't anymore. It'd be nice if you dropped off some of that fresh produce on occasion. They spent lifetime uh, eating that, enjoying that, and looked forward to it every year. It would be very, very cool and very, very neat for those that are still at a level of capability to grow a little extra. Leave a little on that neighbor's front porch. Be the love that we want the world to show. Let it spread. Make it spread. 
Uh, <laughs> Land Shark, you take care. It's good to see you. All right, guys. I need to wrap it up. Uh, keep going forever, but these evening ones are getting longer and longer. I might as well just start making them an hour, right? Uh, let's see. Cody Boy, wait. I'm going to try to find it. You disappeared. I'm supporting the locals farm it. Yeah, support your locals farmer. I'm trying to find one that just went away. Tried to click it. Looking for it. There it is. Change of subject. Sat across from someone who works for Homeland Security in the Immigration Department in Buffalo in Western New York area. They are behind over 200,000 immigration cases. All or most of them are applying for some type of assistance. And right now, the majority of them are coming from Cuba and Venezuela. The Cubans and Venezuela, Venezuelans that came here previously, they're a little upset because they feel like uh, the new ones are the ones that are just look, looking for a handout instead of a way to, instead of the ones that came early out of frustration because they didn't want somebody to limit their ability to grow and to achieve. Uh, it, it's geoeconomic migration is a very real thing and i don't believe that any of our world leaders of today have taken time to study it to study its causes study its effects we're in a we're, we're in a sad day all right guys i gotta get out of here see you tomorrow morning at 10. uh if you hear from me in the middle of the night something great happened bye guys